I keep seeing ads for a new card game called Scrabble Slam, in which players can frantically try to spell words that are four tiles long. Words like leaf and rake and cake. I'm sure it's real challenging. The fun of Scrabble is not to see how many small words you can spell, it's to see how many 18, 18, 18 tile words you can spell. Long words that are worth like 600 points, but I mean, three letters or four letters? What's the fun in that? But if a company believes that, you know, that people are, are in the cards and in the hit games, they will find a way to uh, rake in the dough. And as I thought about that, I th thought of a game that has been sitting in our closet for about maybe 20 years or so. And this is the game right here. And after seeing the box, you will realize that this game is full of groundbreaking ideas. And this game is called Pronto. It has skill and strategy, high scoring letters, and bonus points. That's right, bonus points. What a concept. So basically how you play is you take these five uh, ice, you put them into a tumbler, you shake it up, and then you scream Pancho as you throw down uh, the gauntlet. And at that point, you have three minutes to spell a word out of those dice. And here is the timer thing. And the game goes for eight rounds, and the player that has the highest score wins. Now I'm sure after hearing me explain that, you're saying to yourself, Stephen, this game is just a ripoff of Yahtzee and Scrabble. They took two games and they mixed them into one game that's just terrible. It's just a hideous ripoff of a game. And I agree with you. But this game is just totally... Uh, it's not in touch with its roots. I mean, take for example the rules. No words other than other than words of English are allowed. Now this is ironic because uh, the, uh, uh, the game is called Pronto, which is a Spanish word for, you know, promptly, come on, let's go, right away. But yet you're not allowed to use words that come from Espanol. I mean, what's up with that? No comprende, I don't understand. You know, it, it, it just makes no sense. And, and look at these uh, scorecards. You have an upper level and a lower level. What game has that kind of a system? Yahtzee. You know, so this game is just a blatant ripoff of Yahtzee in every way, shape, and form. So, as I take a look at this scorecard, um, I saw that the, that the game was played at, um, at the highest point eight times, so uh, the game was only played and played eight times at the most, and the highest uh, word on here, as you can see, is jugs. So whoever played this round was a real wordsmith. 
and using the word jugs, they were able to score a grand total of 89 points. Way to use that brain, kid, you know. So Pronto, it's just a ripoff of Scrabble and Yahtzee, and it comes with a really lame pink hourglass, you know, it's filled with pink sand. And for a game that uh, 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 prides itself on skill and, you know, speed and all that, three minutes is a long time. I mean, think about it, you know, you roll the dice and you spill them out there and you're thinking of a word and, uh, th and after, after, uh, after a three home minutes, you're like, this game is lame. It's boring. It's too slow, you know? So I would say that I, uh, would not go hunting for the game at all. And I would not uh, try to find it online or at a garage sale. And it's just a pretty terrible game. And I have no idea why it is still in our closet. But after seeing how the game is played, I can understand why it was only played eight times, you know. So, that's it. Have a great day. And, happy jugs.